Hello everyone, here I am back with an exponential equation to solve. In this equation, there are different numbers with and without powers. The indices contain the variable. So let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, first thing we do is to represent the numbers in their prime factors. So 8 on the left hand side can be represented as 2 cube and left hand side becomes 3 raised to the power x into 2 cube raised to the power x by x plus 2 which becomes equal to 3 into 2 6 is represented as 3 into 2 now we just simplify it left hand side becomes 3 raised to the power x into 2 raised to the power 3x by x plus 2 and now as usual we take log of both the sides and then we use the multiplication rule of log where the multiplying terms are getting added so the equation becomes log 3 raised to the power x plus log 2 raised to the power 3x by x plus 2 is equal to log 3 plus log 2 now on the left hand side since powers are there we use power law of log which makes the equivalent equation as x log 3 plus 3x by x plus 2 log 2 is equal to log 3 plus log 2. Now we bring log 3 and log 2 from right hand side to left hand side and get an equivalent equation. We take, we just separate the terms with log 3 together and log 2 together and now we take log 3 and log 2 common from on all the terms to get x minus 1 into log 3 plus 3x by x plus 2 minus 1 into log 2 is equal to 0. Now we multiply this equation on both the sides by x plus 2 to get x minus 1 into x plus 2 log 3 plus 3x minus x minus 2 log 2. So the second term is further simplified as 2x minus 2 log 2 and we take 2 common in the second term and the simplified equation is given as x minus 1 into x plus 2 log 3 plus 2 x minus 1 into log 2 is equal to 0. We take x minus 1 common from whole of the equation and get x minus 1 into x plus 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 is equal to 0. Here we get our first solution as x minus 1 is equal to 0 implying that x is equal to 1. This indeed is the most obvious solution of the equation given as 3 raised to the power x into 8 raised to the power x by x plus 2 is equal to 6. If you put x is equal to 1, you get on left hand side, you get 6. So, it is the simple and most obvious solution. Now, we look for the second solution. For the second solution, we just consider the second term that is x plus 2 into log 3 plus 2 log 2 to be equal to 0. So, this here also we use the multiplication law of log on the second term. So, the second term becomes log 2 square which becomes log 4 and then x plus 2 is represented as equal to minus log 4 by log 3. Here we use the change of base formula. So, x plus 2 becomes equal to minus log 4 to the base 3 or x becomes equal to minus log 4 to the base 3 minus 2. In this case, the second solution is this and mathematically this is the correct solution, but just for the sake of some mathematical beauty, we simply manipulate this solution. So, x can be written as equal to minus log 4 to the base 3 minus 2 log 3 to the base 3. So, 2 is written as 2 log 3 to the base 3. And this is further written as the second term minus log 3 square to the base 3 and which makes x is equal to minus log 4 to the base 3 plus log 9 to the base 3 which after using the multiplication law we get x is equal to minus log of 4 into 9 to the base 3 or in very simple terms x becomes equal to minus of log 36 to the base 3. This also satisfies the given equation, but it's, it is little bit diff difficult or little bit more difficult to check that how it satisfies. So you can check for yourself 
and now we have got the two solutions for this equation one is x is equal to 1 and the other one is here x is equal to minus log 36 to the base 3 thanks for watching